Welcome back. So over the weekend I was working on the Arduino. I got the wires cut for this and actually um, back at my place uh, got it, um, most of the wiring all soldered up in there to, c to connect all the circuits and uh, leaving Dan to sort of uh, finish off the last bit of it. And meanwhile back at the shop on uh, Tuesday is Jeff um, bonding in these little uh, bits of foam core there for where he's doing the um, build-ups there to strengthen where the hinges attach for uh, each of the ailerons so just put some foam in there with some uh, resin cabo mix and there it is with the layup done and the peel ply on there uh, waiting to set up so you had to do uh, that on each of the left and right wings so with these layups um, what really is happening there is just basically creating a reinforcement for the hinges uh, otherwise the hinges would just be attached to uh, the skin there which uh, wouldn't be uh, strong enough and of course par for the course with the doors another little problem here um, so that pro seal uh, stuck really well to the doors to the paint but it didn't stick to the rubber seal at all it was just literally it didn't take much effort at all as you'll see here stuck to it and you just peel it back a little bit and it just doesn't take any effort at all bang it just comes away so plan is to clean all that off and um, and go with um, some RTV instead. And we're counting down the days that Dan's still going to be here, which is up until uh, Thanksgiving. But uh, he's keeping super busy. He has a list of stuff that he wants to get done for us. And uh, here he's working on um, putting some connectors there on the landing and taxi lights. So because they weren't they hadn't been connected up yet, and uh, wiring that through into the rest of the a harness there that goes through the pass through there into the cabin and this is what it looks like just firing those up and you just basically wiring that in you see the HIDs they take a little while to warm up not not too long but um, when they come on man they're bright you can't really look at them it really hurts your eyes <laughs> uh, once they've warmed up uh, similar to the ones uh, in my car that I have and on my Audi I'm so pretty happy with how those are going to turn out and uh, one as you've seen probably previously one is angled slightly down for a taxi and the other one's angled slightly up um, in comparison for the landing light so that's uh, good that that's getting done now and some of the other things Dan's been working on uh, up in the nose here he's got the um, relays hooked in there and the wiring all hooked up to those uh, pressure switches for the gear and there's also a circuit breaker in there and yeah I know it's a weird place to have a circuit breaker but we have a backup plan um, if everything goes astray with the uh, gear in order to get it down um, so I'm not worried about having the circuit breaker there trying to put it in the cabin was just not going to be viable because of the um, the thickness of the cable that you'd have to run into into the cabin there so anyway that's where it's going to live and uh, down underneath the nose here he's got the outside air temperature um, poked through and bolted on there and that's you know part of the Garmin stuff and that's where it feeds through there so there's a the main wires running off of that and the ground wire which runs to a little um, ground block there so that's another thing done and after I finished uh, doing the main wiring on that here's Dan getting it sorted out to hook up the external uh, connections and the connector and stuff for it and also he just wired in a couple of resistors in there for where the transistor for switching the solenoids is you'll see more of that shortly and back on the doors, so basically got most of that um, pro seal cleaned off and then um, went around with a little um, bit of sandpaper and roughed up the paint there where I'm um, going to be sticking the, the seal back on there with the RTV and uh, which RTV is just silic, black silicon sealant and I've cleaned off um, the, uh, the seal here as well and one other thing we did because the doors were fitting so tight you can actually look in here We've cut the center section out of that um, profile on the lower half of the door because it was just fitting too snug um, when the door was on the aircraft. So you, you can see there it looks more like a C channel there. And that's just on the bottom section uh, of the door. And if you look at it, the normal section, it's more like a M or W there. So we just basically cut that center section off and it allows it to compress more. Um, which makes it easier for the door to close without having too much pushback pressure because now the the space all around the doors is um, is very snug and with that uh, pro seal it was actually up to about 25 thousandths thick um, which was about making the seals snugger than they needed to be so anyway I fixed that and um, with this uh, 
the new RTV there, and you can actually see that's the extent of the bead that I've run there, that little black thing. That's all you need on there, and when it's pushed down, it spreads out to the width of the thing, and it doesn't add any more thickness like the Pro Seal was. Um, so that'll sort that out, and here's the other door. So I did the first one this morning, and um, there's the other one getting organized here, and there's my little stick for sanding. It's hard to do that with one hand. I used the other hand to support, but I had to hold my phone to film this. But anyway, you get the idea, just roughing it up around there where the seal's going to be on. Hopefully that'll sort out um, these seals, and, and I've already done some tests with that um, RTV, and it sticks really well to both the rubber and and uh, you know painted door as long as it's roughed up uh, fine so anyway both of those got done by the end of the day and they're uh, now setting up and here's Jeff working on getting the hinge mounted there to uh, the little trim tab for the aileron so he'd made the parts of that a little while ago but now he's uh, you know got the hinges all drilled there and uh, clicked into place so that's ready pretty much to bond together and then it uh, won't be too long and he'll be able to actually um, bolt that up to the aileron itself and it's just going to be one on the left aileron that's all you have you don't need two or two wouldn't actually work and this hardware and nut plates that Jeff ordered there um, last week arrive now for um, the mounting points there for the bell cranks for the foreplane so his job there is just to drill those um, little rivet holes there for those nut plates and, and um, rivet them into place and this is what those layups look like now on uh, the inside of the wing there for the aileron mounting. So they've all queued up and the, and the um, peel ply has been removed. So that's uh, another one, another thing needed on the wings that's now done. And there's these uh, the aileron bell cranks and they, they had to be beefed up a little bit with some FR4 on the edges there. So that, that's been done, Jeff did that and uh, not won't be long and we'll be able to bond those in just waiting on some other parts and uh, I took a break from the doors and as Dan pointed out to work on another door I <laughs> got the hinge sorted out on this thing still get need to get the actual hardware I'm going to use to mount it um, but anyway got it sorted out on there um, drilled the holes and put the uh, riv nuts and stuff in there so it's looking pretty spiffy and then I just got to cut that end off there of the, the hinge pin which I actually did uh, after this recording this. And finally there's an Arduino, so it's all packaged up there and Dan put the the uh, external wiring on there and uh, before the end of the week we will be giving that a good test, hooking up to the, the rest of the sensors and uh, just making sure that it's actually triggering uh, the solenoids because you know we can mock the code up to do whatever we want to read values and, um, and trigger the solenoids. So uh, that's another job that looks like it's pretty much done. Just needs some little tweaking. So that's our update for the first half of this week. And uh, tune in again on uh, Saturday for a normal time update and uh, see what we get up to for the last two days. And thanks again for watching.